hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you that how to upload an image file to your mysql database inside your php so this is a demo application here you can just choose any kind of image file so let me just select any image here let me select this image and click on the upload button so as i hit this upload button you will see a message will pop in that image is uploaded and if i check my database let's suppose this is the table here where i am storing these images if i refresh the table here and go to the browse section you will see that one entry will be added here unique id has been assigned to it and this is the image path and uh, let me just show you the uploads folder this is my upload folder and if i open this image you have you can see that the image is uploaded i can repeat this process one more time if i choose another file here another image file and let's suppose i choose this image click upload once again so you will see that as i refresh this one more entry will be added here this is the image and if i refresh you can see that one more image file has been added here so this is a functionality that we will be building that image upload php script using uh, mysql database so let's start start building this process once again so just create a index.php file inside your php project and uh, inside your working directory create a upload folder let me just delete this upload folder from scratch and tell you so just create an index.php file after that create a new folder uploads so here you will be storing all your image files which are uploaded to the mysql database and for the database i am using exam control panel for my local host server and mysql database comes with it after you start both these things go to localhost slash php my admin and create a new database so the net database name will be images database demo so this is my database name just create this uh, database and the table will be images and the number of columns will be two click on the go option and then the first column will be the id which will be integer and it will also be the primary key so just select this option a auto increment click on go and the next will be image path so basically this will be the path on where you will be storing your image so this will be image path and the type will be text here so just select text here and click on save so now our table has been created if i click on structure this is a structure of the table it contains two fields id which is the primary key and second is the image path and now this is the name of the database which is images database demo and now we will be making a simple form here first of all so to make the form we will write the basic structure of uh, html doc type let me just give it a title that uh, php image upload script using mysql just uh, close the title close the head and inside the body we will be having a simple image form so for this we will be having a form tag the action will go to uh, the same page so this will be empty and the method will be post and uh, there is another type which we have to encoding type encoding type will be equal to multi part form data so this is very much necessary if you are uploading any sort of image file this attribute you need to give just close the form tag so inside this form tag we will be having a simple input field which will be of type uh, file so inside this we will be having input of file the name attribute we will assign it which will be upload file so this name attribute will be used inside the php script we don't need to give it id and next will be input submit so this will be the button when we click this button the upload process will begin the value will be simply upload 
and also I will giving a name attribute to also this which will be upload file button like this so now our form is complete if I refresh the application if I now refresh it you will see a form is there of choose file and upload and now we just need to write the PHP script right here at the top so we can just move upwards here and make our PHP tags close the PHP tags and now inside this first of all we need to check for the button if the button has been clicked or not this submit button we have given this name attribute upload file button so here we can just check in the if condition if is set dollar post and then we can just copy paste the name here upload file button like this so basically it is checking that if the submit button has been clicked then only execute this PHP script so first of all we will make the connection object we will connect to the database by using mysql i connect method and inside this first of all we will provide the host which is localhost second is the username which is root third is a password which is blank here default password and the fourth one is a database name so here whatever database that you have configured you will give the name to this is my database name which is images database demo so I can just provide this images database demo and now after this we can just check in the if condition that uh, if connection is uh, successful in that case we can just print it out on the screen that uh, connected to database so basically now if I just click on the upload button just to check you will see that connected to database so now we have successfully connected to our database now we can just make a simple query in order to insert the image into the database but before that we just need to move our file inside this upload folder for that we just need to get the file name and the temporary address of the image for that we will make two variables first is the file name which will get the actual file name original file name which is located in the inside this files global array so basically here we just need to provide the name attribute that we have given to the input field which is upload file so here we need to write this name attribute upload file and there is a property which is equal to name so which will get the name of the file and similarly we can just get the temporary name also which is located inside dollar files this will be upload file and the next parameter is temp name like this so this will get the temporary address of the image file so that we can just transfer it to our uploads directory so now we can also print it out this variables echo file name and echo temporary name so basically just to uh, run this just to debug this if I select any sort of image file let's suppose I select this file click on upload option you will see that connected to database and this is the image file image file name and this is a temporary address c colon slash exam slash temp so this is unique for every image file that we get so now with the help of these two options we can just transfer this inside our uploads directory but before that we just need to provide the folder variable so this will be equal to uploads slash so basically this is the folder name through which we are uh, configuring our files so this is a folder we have provided now we have just provided this folder name upload slash so after that we just need to move this file so we will make use of this function which is move uploaded file so basically this will moves this uploaded file to a new new, lo new location so here we just need to pass first of all the temporary address which is located inside tem name and now after that we just need to provide the destination address which is folder we will concatenate with with the dot symbol the file name which is this one 
file name that's it so now basically if I execute this this will be transferring this image file into the uploads directory with the help of this move upload file function if I select this image click on upload and if I check here up in the upload directory you will see that this image is transferred to this upload directory so now we are successfully uploading this inside our uploads directory but now we also need to transfer it inside our MySQL database we just need to transfer the address not the whole image so in order to do so we just need to write a simple SQL query here so just make a SQL variable and we need to insert it insert into the table name which is images so here we just need to provide the column name which is image path and uh, now we just need to provide the values which is in this case is the file name so we need to write it in single quotes so this is variable here so file name that's it put a semicolon and now we just need to execute this query so we can just make a simple query variable and we can just use mysql i query method so, so this performs this SQL query on the database now we just need to first of all pass the connection object as the first argument and the second argument is the SQL query that's it and now we can just make a if condition that if the query is successful then we can just print out a certain message to the user with the help of echo statement that uh, image we can have a break tag image uploaded to database that's it so this completes this full PHP script application which uploads the file to the database and now I can just check it here if I refresh it and uh, if I select any sort of image file click on upload you will see that image uploaded to database and now if I check the database I will see a entry inside my table click on the browse you will see that one entry has been added ID has been automatically been assigned because this is a primary key of the table so it is auto incremented and this is the full image path and now if I also check the uploaded file here you will see a file has been added uh, let me just show you another image file just for example here let me select another image let me select this click on upload image uploaded to database this is the second image you can see that and if I check the upload directory the second image have, has been uploaded so this is the simplest of tutorial on how to upload images to database and also to storing it inside your server using PHP and MySQL so thanks very much for watching this video and all the source code is given in the video description you can just check it and download it and uh, thanks very much for watching this video and I will be seeing you in the next video